Yep. Back out. It's time. It's Thursday. Um, had the week off work. Like we went, had plan to go to Scotland and do a few routes around there. But we did that one camp on Saturday. We had a wander around on Sunday, and we came back. Um, we had a day out the other day, and then on Tuesday we had a day out. Full good nine mile walk. Um, Carries dog sitting today. She's got a little doggy back. So I'm out. Solo. Solo midweek camp. It's Thursday. And I'm at a little village called Alwinton. Or Alwinton, however you want to pronounce it. I'll just loosen this off. Get some funny looks off the locals there because I just parked it. Parked at the side of the road, but I am heading up that track there and away into the hills. Lose myself in the hills, like I say, a solo camp. So, unfortunately, no Kazakam. She'll be back. She'll be back. It's a lovely day, like, right, right down here. Not windy, but I am heading up. I'm only going about 1,500 feet, maybe it's not even that. I'll have to check when I get up there. But it's a, it's a good hike, I think it's about four miles, the hike in. So I'll be having a steak for me tea. Got a few cans of beer to try. A couple of new ones came out. So I'll be in the shop, and the snowdrops. Snowdrop suit. It's a good sign springs on the way. Look at them all. Thousands. Alright, I'm gonna push on because this is all uphill this bit. <sighs> and you know what I'm like up the hills. Oh Minutes and I'm up height. These rolling hills. Amazing up here, like I know this place quite well, I've been coming it for years. Can't really pronounce the name of the hill I'm going up or aiming for, but I'll put a name on at the beginning. Anyway, push on to that style. So, I'm about a mile and a bit in. I've done all the height, I've gained all the height. So I'm puffing, sweating. And I'm on a place called Clenell Street. Clenell Street, I don't know how you want to say it. Clenell, Clenell. Anyway, it's an old track, this is it. Like, this is Clenell Path. And it goes through, from back from Alwinton there. I'm going over that way, I'm heading that way over the top of this, around the, around the back of that, and then along there. So I've gained all the height, so it's just gonna be a level walk. That's called Lord's Seat, not that one, but one of them. And this is a path, it comes over there from, from the village. But I've just read about it, it's, uh, it says it's a, it was a track, an ancient track, leading from Morpeth to Kelso. So, whew, 
imagine coming along here on your horse and cart all them years ago trot trotting and uh, apparently there's some cairns I haven't been it you can't see them because they're all overgrown and it says it hasn't been excavated around here not much archaeological stuff going on so they reckon it could be Bronze Age all the cairns in this path dates from well let's see the back then 2000 years it's a canny, uh, a canny bit of history around here like lots to explore I've been coming here for years I didn't know any of this uh, see this is where the internet comes in handy if you can get a signal when you're walking and you're somewhere like this you get to know the history of the place you know you can you can find out ask Google where you are and ask about it you find out all sorts I can never get a signal up here normally for some reason I can't hit and miss like but I'm gonna sort of Google it right, interesting the Sun splitting the clouds it's a bit of a light breeze it's chilly as well because when you stop walking it's chilly so I'll not stop walking I'll just keep going like I say I've gained all the height but I've got to get round over there somewhere over the back of here there's still a few miles to go thankfully all the, all the hills are done all the climbing there's only a few little uphills but not much yeah, interesting Clenell Street who would have known? I always wondered all the years I've come, what was up this the cinder track that I walk, the whole road. So I go, I come down from the hills and I bear to the right. And if you go, there's always a lot of cars going up to the left. That's what's there. It's a hoose. It's a, it's a. I mean, what is it? It looks like a farm building, isn't it? And look, we've got our own little power supply there. Uh, always wondered about that. Normally I go up um, that road along there. Oh, yeah, I go along that road. I'm very zoomed in too far. I go along this this road, come down here, and then I come down and it winds down. And I've always wondered what's up there. Now I know. Aye, yeah, it's handy this camera sometimes for finding things out. I've often wondered about this place. It's uh, an old tin shed. I think it might be somewhere for the sheep just to come and huddle like. Seems to be some pens. Yeah. They can all come in here and have a little party. Disco pen. Canny. I'm just thinking to myself, I've never seen a soul up here. There was a there was a digger driver on a 360 down on the hall road. But I think he was just flattening it down. He wasn't really doing anything. I never see a soul out here, like not a soul. But I think that's my objective. I think. Check them out when I get round there through them trees. I know where I am now. Not far to go. Any gates to cross? The thing I like about gates, all is everyone's different. They like their own little Chinese puzzle, aren't they? They've all got different catches on them. Oh, I need some goose grease. Look at the mud, it's definitely a little sheep around this, isn't it? Ugh. Anyway, push on. Nice day. Well, I've done all the hard work. 
three miles to get here and we'll install the trees on the, uh, the loggers road eventually that map's good like took us straight to it I got to a certain point and knew where I was but the fun part was at one point I didn't know where I was but I found it so no worries there Oh, let's just push on here then. Not far to go. I can have a break. It's freezing. Wind's light, but I'm going up a little bit higher. You just never know what that wind's gonna do. So far it's alright though. So I think I'm gonna try and get up there. Top of there. It's called Sophie Hill. S-A-U-G-H. EY Hill. Nice here, like the trees. Seem to be growing back quite well. They weren't that big last time I come here. It's nice. A good five minutes of barbecue. leg and I've just got to go to the top of here which is where I was just pointing at um, yeah so what you've got is you've got these moguls these grassy tufts and here's me a little bit of tip and advice you've got to take it easy going through these like because they might look you know harmless and what have you but you can easily turn your ankle on them you don't know what you stand on sometimes there's big holes down the side of them and sometimes they just um, they just don't give way under your foot and you can turn you you know your ankle can easily go on these like snap your ankle if you're not careful but uh, yeah I'm used to walking on this sort of thing so just nip through let's have a look at these hills over here this weather's lovely I'm enjoying the weather not sure of the name of them Cheviots part of the Cheviots it's all part of the Cheviots but the way I came was three miles so I might go back that way I'm not sure what to do I'll see how I feel tomorrow yeah, so I'm gonna head up there then and then get the tent set up very strange situation so after the moguls of death I've got up to the top of Sophie Hill so he hill at I said make it our mind up that's uh that ridge over there is copper snout I thought it was just that hill was the name copper snout but it's that this whole ridge counts for miles away. look at this weather it's like wow sunset can it be not on a not on a weedle camp Ugh. It's north facing there, so over there, Scotland somewhere. All right, Eddie, how's it going? The sun comes up in the east, and the wind is coming from the south. So I'll have to put my door into facing that way. Be all right for the sunrise, hopefully, if there is one. Whew. Anyway, I'm gonna get a tent set up. Nice flat spot, just to uh, move a bit of sheep's muck. Good spot. It's freezing, I'm cold already. As soon as you stop walking, you start getting cold. So the trick is, get the tent up, and uh, get a brew on. Nice cup of tea. Oh, oh it is, it's chilly in that wind. It's supposed to be about minus four tonight, so that should be interesting down jacket this time. Be right. Anyway, here we're going. Get started.
set. Over the chariots. Not bad. So I'm set up. Just time lapsing that. Went down, it wasn't that great like, but it's probably the first sunset I've seen in months and months. Whew. Just quick level look around the setup. Got the deltas in. The ground is awful, so I think it's really rocky. Some of them went in alright. So what we've got tonight, Matthew, we've got tool beer, Garden of Eden, fruit IPA, look at that can man, it's a work of art. It's 6.4%, uh, Beaver Town, 8 ball right IPA, that one's 6.2. Oh, I'm freezing, it's really cold, sorry. Shindigger, everything's peachy. Uh, session IPA, ABV is 4.2. I'll have that one first. I'll not bore you with all the reviews, like, because it's a bit much. Archipelago, Yukonot, Equinot, Enigma, Mosaic, Vic Secret. This is a left handed giant brew, and the, the cans are like, they are works of art, like. It seems a shame to bloomin' drink them. That's about 6% or something. This one's Tool Brewery as well. We're just out these. This one is called Garden of Haze by the Tool. That. Look at that. Look at the artwork on that. But that's the 7% one, so I'll have that later. I'll have that last if I get that far. It's a bit cold. I've got fillet steak, potato. I've got my set up in here. I've got to put this coat this on because I'm freezing. Hand warmers. I've got full signal on the radio. I'll get some temperatures later. Wind, wind's picking up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Nope. I've got my cup and my broken glass. That's it. Set up here. Remote. Middle of nowhere, this way. Oh, so just trying to... Watch that go down and feel the cold already. The weather's oh, it's changed. Mind. It's a good effort to get up here. It didn't take us long. Put the bloomin' uh, put the pedal down like. All them miles have been walking lately, doing the benefit. Right. I'm gonna get warmed up. Whew. Goodness me, it's cold. Fingers crossed for some stars tonight. Right, folks. It's tea time. It is. What time is it? 25 past 7. And uh, there's, there's ice forming already on the tent. It's frost enough. It's freezing like. It says it's. Uh, Minus 0.5, but I had that wind chill before, it was minus 6. But it's really cold. So I've got fillet steak. There's two bits in there, like. Fillet steak, and uh, some mushrooms with the garlic butter. And I'll have a few beer as well. Shindiga. Everything's peachy because, brrr, despite the cold, everything is peachy. The stars are out, it's a lovely clear night. It's probably why it's so cold. Got salt and pepper. See these people who buy Hilleberg tents and then they nick the salt and pepper from McDonald's. Shocking behaviour. I've got uh, the radios on, Bob Harris is playing, Some supplies there. Some of them will be going back with us, I don't think I'll eat all, uh, drink all them tonight. It's bloody cold. Let's just try it uh, get water. Everything I need. And more. It's warm in the bag, but I just got in the bag before just to warm up. It was nice. I didn't want to get out, but you've got to force yourself to get out. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. Ooh, starving. Ah, lovely. Very, very nice. 
I need to keep two hands on that though, and it's not level. So that's all I'm showing. That's the steak. And that's the mushrooms in. In the garlic butter. Oh, okay. I'm just going to let this cook down a little bit. Dave Miles just been on there saying look north for the aurora. I shall certainly do that. Meanwhile, this peachy blooming shindiga is beautiful. It reminds us of something. I can really taste the peach in that. Everything's peachy. Lovely. Right, it's getting, it's getting mad in here. I've got the event open, but I'm still getting, uh, I'm still getting steam. Yeah, it's blooming. It's frost. It's icing up in here. It's only seven o'clock and it's icing up. It's a bit hectic in here, but sorry. Right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn this off because it's getting steamed up as well. That's it, ready? Oh, look, that is melting. It's melting in your mouth up. Mm, mushrooms are lovely. Mmm, I could just die happy now. Perfect. Right, I'll bring you back if anything interesting happens. But there's not gonna be much filming now. Too cold, and really, there's nothing to film. So, I'll crack on. Oh, oh, it's cold. Oh, hold on a minute. I could have just turned this music off. Ah, I can find the radio. Oh, dear. Right, well, it's uh. It's cold, as you can see, I've got all my gear on, like, I'm just gonna zip up actually. Oh, oh that's better. Oh, it's freezing. It's not even windy, right? Right, it's a little bit flappy, but it's not windy as such. And the, the wind chill meter's reading minus six. Oh, there's frost on the inside of the tent. So um, I'm just gonna get in, like I'm gonna cinch in. The stars were out before. I don't know what sort of night lapse I'll get. I need new batteries for my GoPro because they just keep dying. I used I used four batteries for about an hour's footage. Not great, like. So I think it's probably got something to do with the cold as well, mine. I keep them in the inside of my coat, but when they're out there, you know, they just get freezing cold, like so they die easily. Um, I've just got the infrared mode on, because the light's too bright. Oh, it's just really cold. It's good to be out though. I'm on my holidays from work, so it's like, you know, I'll get another camp in. Just like I said at the beginning, Carrie's looking after the dog. He needs a lot of care, poor little thing. Poor little Bobby. Bobby! 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 Oi! I bet, he, I bet he's jumping up at the telly now. <laughs> well, his ears will be pricking up. It's him, it's him. Anyway, right, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna switch off now. This is now, there's no happening. If anything does happen, I'll come back. If not, I'll see you in the morning. I think I'll be away sharp in the morning because it's uh, working farmland here, so there'll be a lot of farmers on quads. I don't want to be upset. No anybody. traces though, no traces. Anyway, right, that's it. Then. So we're on. It's getting windy now. It's not meant to be windy like. The only forecast to be uh, five or six mile an hour winds. But it seems to have picked up a bit. I remember that was down below in the valley. The funny one, the Cheviots, because you're in down there, you're in valleys, there's hills, valleys, there's all kinds. It's quite a. Um, Mixed terrain, shall we say. Cheviots, Cheviot Hills. I'm gonna say the Cheviots, because that's where it is. So I'm looking at the, the wind meter. Um, where are we now? The wind chill. The wind chill is... Fluctuating before. 
5.1. So I'm saying here, it's not even, it's not even meant to be windy. It's not, it's not blowing a gale, but you know what I mean? It still takes it down to five degrees, man. Not minus five, minus six. You've got to be careful of that wind chill. That's why I think this is quite a useful tool. As I told you, I told you what's happening. All the temperatures and all that. Anyway, Beaver Town eight ball. I've had that one before. That rye. Right, IP8, it's all right. Sounds spectacular. A bit malty, a bit caramel. But it's all right. Oh dear. It's absolutely freezing. I've got an icy tent. So it's half ten, and I'm going to go out of bed because I want to be up and away in the morning. Get back. I'm out on the lash this weekend, Saturday night, on the hoy. So there'll be no video Saturday, that's why I'm doing this little overnight in the midweek one. Oh. See if the light comes on. Um, video light's not working. I don't know where I am. Where am I? Can you see us? Oh, there I am. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this camera. Anyway, whoo, it's freezing, freezing cold. But with the down jacket on, down sleeping bag, I'm all right. Warm enough. My feet are warm. I've had my feet wrapped up in my sleeping bag. So they're okay. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Gonna go to bed. Like I say, I'm out on the last this weekend. Few beers, yeah. Night out, and then don't know. Don't know when I'm next out. Maybe it's the weekend after. I'm not sure. Have to work it out. So from now, night, night. We we'll see you in the morning with a nice cup of tea, folks. Alright. I find the button. I get it off. I think I'd not by now, wouldn't you? I would turn it off. Oh, I'm going to turn it around. For Christ's sake. So we've just done a, um, so just done a little post note. I've just been outside with the wind chill meter. And it was minus 11. <laughs> oh, oh, minus 11 out in that wind there. And the temperature, the real temperature was minus 2.5. Oh, that wind chill, man. Anyway, that's it. See you in the morning. Morning. The camp frozen. Oh, It's the sunrise out there. 7.15. For some reason, I tried to film that sunrise coming up and it wouldn't focus on it. So, that's the end of that then. First sunrise I've had in months and the camera wouldn't focus. Don't know why it wouldn't pick it up. Normally all right. Maybe something to do with the minus 600 million degrees temperature. Oh, I'm just gonna have a cup of coffee then and uh, head down. Didn't sleep very well. Freezing. Just freezing cold. Minus, minus 2.2 it said there, colder than that because my me, um, me water bladder froze, but my pot's frozen, everything's frozen, especially my fingertips, alright so I'm going to have a coffee, pop up and get out, still got a can of beer left, uh. Uh, I'm knacked, as usual. Amazing. It's half 
past eight, had coffee and had a bit chill out. And now I'm off, I'm going that way. Down there, over them moguls again, along the hall road, down by the tin hut and over the hills and far away. <coughs> like Rita Ora. That's me uh, coffin shaped trace. Nothing else left, see? Right, let's go. I should be back by. I'll get down to the car for about 10 o'clock. No, I think it's me think. It's about, uh, I think it's about four miles. Three, three point nine miles it was coming here. So I'm going back that way. So that's it. Right, let's see if I can snap my leg on these moguls. Oh, I'm just coming down off this Clinnell Street again. Just come back the way I came yesterday. It's a lot easier, like, it's quicker as well. Um, it's heading down there. All the sheep having the breakfast. This is the, um, this is apparently the Bronze, Bronze Age settlement. So in the Bronze Age, people lived there. Get vantage points, you know? I think you see all the enemies coming. Chuck bronze rocks at them. <laughs> so, good camp, nice and cold. Bit chilly last night, but I just cinched in and it was alright. It was warm enough. Slept that right. That steak was lovely though. Oh, gonna have that again. Get that and do it in the house. Fillet steak from Morrison's, it wasn't it wasn't expensive. I think them two bits was like six quid. Which isn't it's not expensive for fillet. <clears throat> it was really nice, it was melting in your mouth. <coughs> Couple of beers. Not the high percentage ones because I, I wanted an early start of the day. And I kept one as well, kept one back. I think the highest strength was 6.4. It's unusual for me, normally 12%. Anyway, I'm just gonna get down to the car. It's Friday. I get home, get changed, get a bath and that. And then just crack on with the day. And. All being well, we'll see you on the next one. I'll just leave you with a few sheep. Actually, I decided to leave you with a bridge. I've seen nobody the whole trip.